Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Lori Skinner from This Crafter's Dream. Today I have a card for you that I created for my um, This Crafter's Dream color challenge. And this week I'm using the Dragonfly Garden Bundle. Um, that can be found in the January through June uh, mini catalog. Isn't that cute? I'm not sure if you can, if you can see the little sparklies on the dragonfly, but I added some Wink Estella to it. Just made it really, really pretty. Uh, this week's colors for the color challenge are Crumb Cake, Soft Sea Foam, Rich Raspberry, and Black. So this is the card we're gonna make today. I stamped the envelope and I always design the inside too. Just quick and easy stamp. So they both match. And what we're gonna use today for this is, we have a, this is eight and a half by five and a half uh, crumb cake. And I just squirted it at four and a quarter. Let's see, this is a piece of, this is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths black. This is three and a half by four and three fourths crumb cake. And this is a piece of four and one fourth by one and one fourth uh, rich raspberry, which I got from using this Oso oh Ombre um, DSP pack. It's this bottom corner piece. Um, this is from the, yeah, like I said, the Oso oh Ombre um, celebration, um, DSP. It can, let's see, this can be found on page, where is it? Oh, here it is. Uh, page seven of the celebration catalog. And, and keep in mind, you only have till February 28th to, um, earn your free items from this catalog. And then, it, then they are gone. But one thing, um, I'm not sure if I've mentioned before, Celebration used to be three months long, and they changed it to two months long, except now Stampin' Up! is going to have two celebrations a year. They're going to have the one in January, and they're going to have one later in um, summer. So we'll get to um, earn more free products later as well. Oh, and keep in mind that what's also available only until February 28th, where is it? there it is, um, if you join Stampin' Up! You get to earn all these decorative paper packs. What these are is these are the the color collection assorted 6x6 DSP packs. Every year they put out um, a new uh, collection of patterns on the paper. And you get all five. The only thing you won't get is, let's see, you'll get the Settles, Brights, Regals, Neutrals, and the... 2022 in color pack. The only one you won't get is the new incoming um, in colors because they haven't been released yet, so they don't want to they don't want to spoil the surprise quite yet. So just remember, you again, you have till the uh, 28th to to join up. Okay. Oh, this little strip. Sorry, I got sidetracked. This little strip is for um, punching out the dragonfly. This is just a, a three inch strip that I that I grabbed. Okay, so let me put this stuff aside. So the first thing we do, of course, is where's my bone folder? Here it is. Okay, we have our bone folder. And we are going to stamp these butterflies that go across the side. And I stamp them in crumb cake. Where's my paper? Get my desk yucky. This is the, I've been, I keep getting asked, how did I get such small grid paper? And this is from the, the Stamparatus. It comes with, you can buy these little paper packs. And of course this little black mat comes with your Stamparatus. But this is perfect for these kind of projects. Okay, so I am going to just stamp some of these butterflies. You don't need to stamp them all the way up. They won't show. 
underneath the paper. So we're done with that one. Let's set that one aside, and now we can stamp. I'll put this here. Where can I put this so you can see it? There. Put it right there. Okay, so now we're going to stamp this flower. Isn't this pretty? Love the stamp set. I will be honest though. Mm, I have issues with the with the paper. It's not my favorite thing. The matching paper for this bundle. Okay, so we have that. Now we're gonna let this dry for a minute because we're gonna color it all in. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is, can you see this lace ribbon? I colored it soft sea foam. So this is how it comes when you get it. See it, it's very vanilla. And what I'm gonna do is, I am going to cut a strip of it. Let me grab my, where is my? Crafting silicone mat. There it is. Okay, so to color your ribbon, you can color any of our, our lighter color ribbons. If you use a Stampin' Blend of whatever color it is you want, it'll dry super fast. If You, you can use our, our regular ink pads. A lot of people, they've used the ink pads and they, they push the, uh, the ribbon into it. It just takes a long time for the ribbon to dry. But this way, it dries really fast. So you just color it. Just keep coloring until you get the, sa the saturation that you wish. Isn't that neat? This is one way to utilize our, our whites, white ribbons. You could buy a pack of white ribbon or the, um, my favorite thing besides ribbons to use besides linen thread is white baker's twine. And I was very upset when Stampin' Up! made that go away and very happy when they brought it back in the, the Snail It Suite. They have a pack of, what is it? There it is. Snail Mail Twine. See, you get the white with the, with the pink. Love it. So this you can also color with your markers, with the Stampin' Bloods. Okay, so I'm going to let that, set that set aside so that that's all colored and ready to go. Okay, this should be dried. So what I colored these with is I used a soft Seafoam Stampin' Write marker and a Rich Razzleberry watercolor pencil. When I did one um, sample with a Stampin' Write marker and it was just too bright for, I just wanted it soft and muted. So I found the watercolor pencil worked way better. We don't need the craft mat anymore, so that can go away. Where is, here it is. Let me just put this back. So all I did is I just, I didn't get too detailed with it because I just want to get the hint of color. So I used the color pencil on all these little flowers. Then I also just kind of hit some of these other ones. Like I said, I just wanted a soft muted background just to get the hint of color throughout. You don't have to be too detailed. Let's see, that looks good. Okay, so now for the Stampin' Write marker, this is really light. So it just, like I said, it just gives a hint to the color. I just went through and got all the leaves. Well, I guess not all of them, I just got 
with some of them. Oh, where is that of these? Just add some color wherever you like. I believe I colored these little leaves over here. Yep, that's it. Okay. So that's all we have. Nice and easy, right? So let's... Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the sentiment. I'm going to use my black. I like to use a grid paper just to get an eyeball. Helps me line everything up. And after I tell you that, watch me stamp it crooked. No, nope. a little soupy though. Okay. Let's see, I think we're done with the crumb cake. Okay, we can set that aside because the next thing we need to do is with that same sea foam stamp and write marker, we need to add some color to the butterflies on the card base. And like I said, not all of them are going to show. So just get these ones on the edge. If you have just the um, the pencils, the watercolor pencils, you can use those. This Rich Razzleberry um, color pencil, there's two different packs of color pencils. One of them is called Assortment 2, and one of them is just called Watercolor Pencils, and that's which pack the Rich Razzleberry is in. I believe I have my box here. It's just the regular old watercolor pencils. It's a, it's a nice combination of all the colors that you, that you could utilize. Okay, so that's done. Okay, we have that. So where is my, there it is. First thing we're gonna do is glue down the rich Razzleberry. Glue it down to the center. And if you need a guide, you can use your grid paper just to make sure it's lined up evenly. Where is it? And now, see, we're going to put this down just right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to center it and then I'll just snip it off with the scissors. So I'm just going to add a couple of glue dots down. How much do you guys love the take your pick tool? Love it. Okay, put that down. your ribbon. Just press it in and then I'll hold it in place. Then you can take your scissors. Whoops, sorry, forgot to silence my phone. <laughs> where is it at? I don't even know where it is. It's under all this pile. Here. Excuse me, let me silence it real quick before my kids start calling. Um, there it is. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, now that we have that done, we can, we're gonna glue this piece to the basic black. People ask me why I use liquid glue versus the stamp and seal. 
And after living so many years in San Antonio, the humidity affects the adhesive. I found in San Antonio, if I made a card and it sat around for a little while, the, the humidity would lessen the, the adhesive and it would pop off. So I started using the liquid glue and everything held. So I just kind of kept going. And if you noticed when I was talking to you, I was moving this around to get it nice and even. That's another advantage to the liquid glue is it gives you a little bit of play time to, to um, move it around to where you need it. Put some dimensionals on the back of this. If you have troubles getting the back of the um, the dimensionals off and you don't want to use your take your pick tool, you can put your thumbnail in there. Just squeeze the center and it pops up the edge. Okay, center this. Okay, go ahead and set that aside for now because right this second we are going to make our dragonfly. So we're going to use this image. There's two of them in the stamp set. This is the other one. I chose this one because it has the open body. This one's more of a, oh, no, I didn't. I used the, I'm picking the wrong one. Here I was thinking I was ahead of the game. We're using this one because it has a solid body. This is the other image you could use as well. So I'm going to stamp him in black. Okay, I believe, yes, we're done with black. Keep dropping stuff. Okay, so to color the dragonfly, what I did was I went through here and I just colored some of these spots with the rich raspberry first. Then I went back with my um, soft sea foam marker and colored it in and then did a layer of Winkostella on the top. And when you add the Winkostella, it kind of mutes the colors and it just kind of blends them a little. So it gives it that, that softer look. Let's see, can you see that? Okay. Where's my glasses? I need, I need glasses for coloring. Okay. You don't have to be horribly neat because like I said the colors will kind of blend a little bit together so just pick some of these spots and color them if you wanted to take the time you could put this on some watercolor paper and watercolor it and it'd be just it would be stunning I need to practice more on watercoloring. I'm not that great at it yet. I, know, I see some of these people's projects and I'm just so beautiful. Just not there yet. I can do a lot of other stuff. But watercoloring eludes me. Okay. Good enough. And now I will take this. Add some color. The uh, soft sea foam marker can be uh, found. We used to be able to purchase the marker separately. 
but that changed and now you have to purchase them by color family. So soft sea foam can be found in the Settles family. I forgot to color his, his belly. Isn't that pretty? Kind of makes me think of a black widow. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to take our punch. We are going to punch him out. See, you it matches up with the, the big butterfly. There is no stamp for the small butterfly, but I'm assuming on that paper that I haven't used, um, there is... Oops it a little too high so if you do that just cut a piece it off but like I was saying I'm assuming there's probably a little butterfly in there that matches that I guess that'll look okay just line that up and then punch see I have a whole bunch of these little baby butterflies I mean butterflies, dragonflies. Keep calling them butterfly and it's not. Okay, so now we have our butterfly. Now oh, shit, I did it again. My dragonfly. And I'm going to add some of the Winkostella. Let's see how much I have. Now let me squeeze some down. Um, if your little tank runs dry, just squeeze it and it'll release some more. Why isn't mine releasing? accidentally let's see I have some in here right last night when I I took pictures for my project and I accidentally left it out all night with the lid off I wonder if it all dried up let's see oh there's a little okay there we go had me scared it looks like I need to order a new one do you see how when I'm coloring it it's kind of smearing the color a little bit to me, it just kind of gives it that, that how the wings on the dragonflies always look so magical, shimmery. Makes you think of fairy wings. Okay, I'm not going to get them as shiny as I wanted. Oopsie. Guess I'll be ordering a new one. And do you see how you get a little ink on the tip when you do that? Just take it and wipe it off on a paper. And that way it'll clean it right off. Okay, so we have our dragonfly. <laughs> I am a hot mess today. I just dropped my stamp and scrub. Okay, we are going to... Oh, that's where they are. Couldn't figure out where my bigger dimensionals are. They're on the floor. So I'll just use these mini ones. We are going to add the dimensionals on the back. Okay, we are going to take my, here's a piece, my favorite linen thread. The new way that they this comes on the spool holds this the the spot from it being wound up so I just run it through my hands like this and it makes it a little more pliable instead of having those twisty curly cues so just make a bow <laughs> that was an epic fail okay when I make my bows I, le I leave my ribbon on the spool but this is like a this is an excess piece from my last spool that I'm finishing off but I keep it on the spool so if like before I make a mistake I can just untie it and I'm not wasting a bunch of ribbon okay so where it is take your pick okay so for I'm since this linen thread is obviously much smaller than this I take my take your pick your tool and I put it on the mini glue dot and I twist and it rolls it up and then wherever I'm going to put it I just put my finger and slide it off and I'll smoosh it together. That way you don't have a bunch of adhesive around the outside. 
because then everything sticks to it. So place that down. Now we're going to take some of these opal rounds. These are, let's see, yeah, these are in the June through, January through June catalog as well. We'll just add a couple of these on here. And let's just use a smaller one. These bigger ones sometimes. There we go. Thank you. Here, let's stamp the inside real quick. I forgot to grab the stuff for that. I keep a whole bunch of, here, I'll just show you. One of these old um, Project Life lids are a perfect size for this, but I keep a bunch of white and very vanilla. Um, they're cut to four by five and a quarter. I keep a whole bunch of these cut for the inside of my cards. So uh, some of my older cards, I didn't always put paper on the inside of my cards. I waited until I was getting ready to mail my cards and then I'd write whatever I wanted. And that way, if I made a mistake, I didn't mess up the inside of my card. Um, I could just grab another one, decorate it, write my sentiment in it, and then glue it down and good to go. But for this purpose, I lied, I'm not done with the crumb cake. Crumb cake is my favorite color that Stampin' Up! has. It is the most versatile color. It goes with everything. And the crumb cake cardstock, I use a lot. It just makes a nice, a ni nice, nice base. Or, or if you need, just need a little layer, it just, it's, like I said, it's just a versatile color. Okay, so we stamp our envelope, we stamp the inside. Let's glue this down. If you want to play along with this week's color challenge, over on my This Crafters Dream Facebook group, um, is where you'll find it. Um, you can, if you go to my blog, there's a link to the Facebook group so you can play along with it. Um, it is a, a private group, but anybody can join. Just click on the link to join and I will go in and accept the request right away. And all you need to do is take your the colors this week, which remember they are Crumb Cake Basic Black Soft sea foam, sea foam and rich raspberry. Um, make any project using these four colors. They, it changes every week. I post them on Monday mornings. And Sunday night, I'll, you have until Sunday night to post your card. I'll pick somebody as a winner and they will receive whatever project I made that week um, in the mail. And I will take your project and I will share it and post it on my blog. Okay, so there's the project. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's see. Um, oh, I forgot. When you do play along, if you um, use the current hashtag, so like this project would be hashtag TCDCC14. Um, post it with the hashtag so I can um, find your post just in case for some reason it doesn't show up. Um, I would love that. Uh, so go for it. Play, play along with me. I appreciate you watching my video. I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. If not, please take a moment, leave me a comment. Please be nice to me since I've been dropping everything today. Um, but leave, leave a comment, like this video. And like I said, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Happy stamping.